In this tutorial, we will demonstrate a new and very useful Contact 3 feature, Zone Envelopes. Like slicing, Zone Envelopes are part of the Contact Wave Editor, and as we'll see, they have endless uses for real-time automation of sample parameters. In a previous video, we saw some of the exciting ways you can use modulation sources such as LFOs to control parameters in Contact 3. These kinds of modulations work on the group level in contact, meaning they affect multiple samples at once. Using zone envelopes, however, you can create custom modulations that affect individual sample waveforms. Let's start with a simple example. Clicking the volume button creates a volume zone envelope. You are then free to create a multi-stage envelope by right-clicking or control-clicking on the Mac to add breakpoints. The resulting envelope will control the volume of this sample, and it will do so every time this sample is triggered. One of the great things about this functionality is that you can see the waveform, and so you can easily customize the volume curve so that it reacts to the timing of the audio material. But zone envelopes can control far more than volume. In fact, they can control any of contact's parameters that can be automated. By clicking on the tune knob, for example, and then clicking the Add button, you can now create a zone envelope to control the sample's tuning. Now when playing the loop, a change in pitch over time can be heard. We modulated pitch in this example, but things like effect send, filter cutoff, and even loop playback speed could be affected in exactly the same way. In the last tutorial, we saw how Contact 3 gives you the ability to chop your audio into discrete chunks called slices. While slices are useful for performing tempo sync operations, they can also come in quite handy when using zone envelopes. You can use slice markers as convenient snap points for your zone envelope breakpoints. This ensures that any parameters will be modulated in a musically useful manner because all modulations will occur in sync with the sample's transients. Using the slice markers as a guideline, you could, for instance, assign a zone envelope to an effect send in order to hear reverb on only the snare drum portion of a loop. There is also a handy randomize function that assigns a random envelope level to each slice in the loop. The possibilities are many. This concludes the Contact 3 tutorial series. Feel free to check out the product manual for more information, and we hope you've been inspired to create some great music with Contact 3.